what is up guys mr the reverts here welcome back to the channel and recently over on reddit and twitter i've seen so many posts from players saying that leveling up in this game is glitched why is my game level showing something different than my after action menu i even made a video yesterday in my road to prestige series questioning why this was happening and i too thought the progression in the game was glitched but guys it's actually not glitched at all so I do apologize for saying that yesterday, but hopefully I can clear this up for y'all in this video. Now, I'm going to be honest, I think this system is very, very confusing to say the least, as you may already can tell, which is why you're here watching this video. But also Treyarch really didn't do a good job of wording the prestiging system properly a few weeks ago when they announced how it was going to work. But pretty much within a Black Ops Cold War, we have two different prestige progression levels. The first one is going to be the traditional prestiging. So you go through level 1 through 55, unlock everything, and then after 55, you go through prestige 1. So that's the traditional prestiging level that we all know from previous Call of Duty games. But also we have a second progression system called a seasonal leveling. And as you can see here, to get to Prestige 1, you have to get to level 55. Prestige 2 requires 50 levels. And then finally, Prestige 3, you get this at level 100. Also, when you finally get all three Prestiges and hit level 100, this is when you will unlock the Nightfall Weapon Blueprint. So yeah, that's the reward at the very end of all of this. But when you enter first prestige, you'll notice here in the gameplay that the current level I'm at is prestige level 24. But then in the lobby, my rank is actually prestige one level 10. And this is where all the confusion lies. So that prestige one level 24 is not supposed to appear on the after action report from what I believe. But instead, it should be the Prestige 1 level 10 because this is your actual rank in the game. These are the levels that you need to look at, which are going to tell you how much more you got to rank up to in order to hit Prestige 2. So again, in order to hit Prestige 2, I need a total of 40 more levels. But then after I get that and hit level 50, I will go on to Prestige 2 level 51. And then I'll keep going and going until level 100 which is when I will finally unlock the last prestige of this preseason, which is going to be prestige three. And again, get that nightfall weapon blueprint. From what I understand, both of these progression systems follow the same exact XP progression path. So in the end, when I reach prestige one level 50 onto prestige two, the rank on the after action report should be level 55. So the best way I can describe it is Think of the after action report rank as your military ranks, which are levels 1 through 55. Um, this is what you have worked on or have been working on since the start of the game when you first loaded up Black Ops Cold War, earning your weapons, perks, equipment, etc. And then the rank inside of the lobby is your official ranking that will tell you how much more is needed in order to prestige 2, prestige 3, etc. I know it's very, very confusing. I'm going to make a comment down below explaining what I just said in text. So maybe that's going to be a little bit easier for you guys to understand. But what we are in right now is a preseason and Treyarch fully intended on having Black Ops Cold War play out this way until the start of season one. So in December, all of this is going to be totally changed and different. Plus, we're going to be getting a battle pass system, but your level is going to be resetting as well. And your progress is going to resume from the highest prestige you achieved in the previous season. In Black Ops Cold War, each season is going to offer four additional prestiges to achieve across the first 200 levels. So if you reach level 200 in any of the seasons that you play, you will also achieve the title of Prestige Master for that season. And your prestige level color is going to change to let others know in the game that, hey, I'm a prestige master, back the hell up, I'm really good at this game or I really grind at this game, whatever. But you will also be able to customize your Prestige icon with a legacy Prestige icon from any of the previous Call of Duty games. I don't really know too much information about this or how many Prestige icons are gonna be here. Are they gonna be Prestige icons from the Modern Warfare series? Literally don't have any clue whatsoever about this. But again, we are gonna be able to customize our Prestige icon and make it a legacy Prestige icon. But even after reaching Prestige Master, you can continue to level up all the way until level 1000, which is going to be the cap for every single season of Black Ops Cold War. So guys, that's just a little rundown of the two different progression levels within Black Ops Cold War. I really do hope I was able to explain it again. It's absolutely tremendously confusing. 
Um, but again, I'm going to have a comment down below that hopefully we'll be able to explain it. I'm also going to be answering any questions you may have. Um, just again, please let me know that down below in the comments. I love you guys so, so much. Have a great rest of the day. Till next time, I'll see you guys later.